There you are, you filthy crook! You? What? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Liam, what are you doing here? I told you I'd take care of it.
Are you four here to see Lord Karen? Depends on who's asking. Well, if you're here for Lord Karen of the Legacy Council, that would be me. So you're not a mythical creature after all. Unlike, say, a sober adventurer? Might we ask a bit more about this quest of yours, sir, if you please? Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? We don't exactly have the time. Anyway, the Principality of Masgarth is ruled by Princess Kywood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Caer Kiflin, which was once part of the ancient Manicalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent elvish buildings up there in the high town. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths of Celasta are represented here, though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. We hear this as a mission for the council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know? I'll try to make it simple, but you know, politics. The council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. What are the organizations you mentioned? The council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. What are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the elven empire called Manicalum. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches, and dangers. Which countries make up these eastern kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Masgarth, here, is in the middle. The Snow Alliance lies to the north, the Kingdom of Galavan to the east, and the New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less, but the peace is fragile. I think we know enough now. Thank you. Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. The story of my life.
We'll talk after you're swearing in. The bridge is closed for now. Clear skies, citizens. Clear skies, citizens. Guide you, deputies. This place is magnificent. It's an honor. Busy. Come back later. Stay in the light, citizens.
The law provides, adventurers. Law preserve us. The owl watch over you, faithful one. We should go. May you find the answers, adventurers. Clear skies, adventurers. I am Chaplain Dallin Lark. Hello. What do you do here? I represent the Church of Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. We provide various services for those who need them. And can pay for them? Those who seek his healing are rarely poor. Thank you. We need to go. Stay in the light, adventurers. get so close to the embassies. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? There's an oath keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keane, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keane. Oath Keeper of the Council. Shh! Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the Council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the Council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this Council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the Council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Stop wasting time. What's the mission? Well, a motivated deputy. So. The mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. 
We wouldn't send you in there. Yet. A whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk. <laughs> if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So, gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. Right. I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Grave Keeps Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Well, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. <laughs> 